Hello, and thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel, Love Revolution, where the solution to the global hopelessness is a love revolution coming from the center of the world, Jerusalem, Israel. Thank you for subscribing and tuning in. Now to the information. I have predicted that Trump would win uh, ever since he announced his running not a difficult thing to guess just because of the persona and fame of the man and all the other contenders that uh, everybody would be having a hard time standing up against Trump. And I have supported Trump silently because I don't know what he's going to do in his heart. And there are some troubling things about Trump, such as his silence about the Israel-Palestinian conflict. Well, not silence, but he says he wants to be uh, uh, fair or that he wants to not uh, uh, take sides. Well, for a man who talks straight about radical Islam, about refugees, about all these subjects, why isn't he talking straight about terrorists and the need to stop terrorism in Israel and that there isn't uh, uh, equality on both sides. But we're going to let that pass, and let's move on to the information. This is an ugly picture. I didn't make it. This picture is being reported by uh, news stories uh, circulate, circulating in the Internet that appear, appear to be true, that uh, Adolf Hitler and... Obama and Trump are related with a common ancestor. And Trump's grandfather uh, did not have the name Trump. Donald Trump's grandfather, Fred Trump, who was originally called Frederick Drumpf and was born in Kalstadt, Germany in 1869, came to America at age 16, he explains. We have found that Fred Trump's great-grandmother's second cousin was married to Alistair Huns in 1712, a common ancestor to Adolf Hitler. So both Obama and Trump share that same common ancestor. But that doesn't make Trump bad. I'm sure Hitler had a lot of family that actually probably did good. So our we being played is this entire thing scripted by the elite knowing that the pendulum swings from the left to the right and from the right to the left well let's face the facts trump was put in our living room prior to the election enough time for us to get to know him and put in an authoritative position uh, in the apprentice no longer with us you're fired you're fired very famous line by Donald Trump. And he announced his presidency or basically entered politics by becoming a birther, even though it was very derided by the media. It was a very fringe topic. There was a lot of other legitimate uh, things to go after Obama on, but he chose to go after Obama on the birther issue. So that's how he entered his political career is by attacking Obama's birth certificate. And again, the pendulum swings from left to right and from right to left. And Obama has been in office for eight years, nearly. And he, the leader of the far left or left, however you want to phrase it. And what is the best way to pass the baton to your cousin on the far right? Well, that's to lambast him publicly and basically making him, Donald Trump, the leader of the opposition. That's exactly what Obama did. This is actually very funny. You should watch it this lambasting of Donald Trump at the White House Correspondents' Dinner. And so it turns out that you know, they're not just related, they get along really well, according to Trump. Say this. I've now gotten to know President Obama. I really like him. We have, I think I can say 
least for myself, I can't speak for him, but we have a really good chemistry together. We talk. Uh, he, he loves the country. So he loves the country. We have a great chemistry. Uh, you know, he's a polite man, Donald Trump, and I'm not going to judge him by any of his words at all. Uh, it's almost uh, doesn't it's irrelevant what somebody says because the most horrendous people say the nicest things and um, and some of the people who are rough uh, with their words do the nicest things and I'd rather somebody speak badly and do good than somebody who speaks good and does badly let's continue on now we're getting to the area of Mitt Romney now, if Donald Trump wants to really prove that he's scripted, uh, picking Mitt Romney would be a really good way to do it. Now, what does the elite do? They go around lying to everybody and cheating everybody. And then when you complain, they they say, well, we told you, you know, we, we, we admit it to you that we were a bunch of lying cheats. Why are you complaining? And so what did Romney say about Donald Trump. And we know everything that's coming out of their mouths is scripted. You know, we know that. Now, let's hear what he said. It's very scripted. Donald Trump is a phony, a fraud. His promises are as worthless as a degree from Trump University. Okay. Now, imagine Mitt Romney being the Secretary of State, meeting with world leaders, allies all around the world who are depending on upon America keeping its word. And so you know that all the world leaders have seen this video or they will certainly be uh, uh, they were they will certainly be uh, uh, briefed about this video uh, if they hadn't seen it already when Mitt Romney is supposed to come and meet them <clears throat> supporting on behalf of Trump. His promises are as worthless as a degree from Trump University. And so isn't that what the elite do? They will tell you that the guy's promises are completely worthless and then have the same guy who said that the other guy's promises are completely worthless be the guy who does a deal with you. I mean, that is as snaky as it gets. And Donald Trump, do not pick Mitt Romney. All you will do by picking Mitt Romney is cast a shadow over your entire administration, make you a lot more assassinatable. It's probably not a word, but uh, uh, it'll make you a, a, a much greater target for dismissal. Let's put it that way, because you'll have already placed in your cabinet all the deep insiders. And so if you place in your cabinet all the deep insiders, uh, then there's uh, nothing uh, uh, in the way. Uh, if you think that you're going to use all these deep insiders to create change, I think they'll run circles around you with all their secret handshakes and, and whatnot. So uh, let us all hope and send a message to Donald Trump. Do not choose Mitt Romney unless you want to stain the beginning of your administration. And why would he even be considering Mitt Romney? Again, this video is about the family connections between Donald Trump, Obama, Hitler, and now it turns out Mitt Romney's included. Mitt Romney and George W. are cousins. And uh, turns out uh, Trump is also related to Hillary Clinton. They're also 10th cousins. And when we look further... A local girl, local to Salinas, California, uh, she did what geneticists were unable to do, a first of its kind, linking all presidents of the United States, except one, to one family. Watch. Her conclusion that all the presidents, with the exception of one, share the same grandfather. Well, first we start off with George Washington at the top. Of one are related. 
And so this 11-year-old girl has connected them all together. And uh, many of you have seen this video just to confirm to you that Obama is related to Bush. And as we see here, uh, Romney is related to Bush. And as we previously saw, Trump is related to Obama. Therefore, Trump would be related to Mitt Romney. So let us watch this. It's interesting, even if you've seen it before. President Bush's ninth cousin once removed. Cheney's cousin, Barack Obama, is also Bush's 11th cousin and the ninth cousin of Brad Pitt. But we're only just getting started. President Lincoln was President Bush's seventh cousin five times removed. And Bush shared more than just a ballot with John Kerry. That's right, they're ninth cousins twice removed. Really? <laughs> Yeah, they're the same channel. There's also royalty in the Bush bloodline. Princess Diana was Bush's 11th cousin, twice removed. And then there's this bombshell. Sure, she may have been singing to JFK, but what about GWB? He is, after all, her ninth cousin, three times removed. Maybe it's the eyebrows. The eyebrows. The eyebrows. The eyebrows. The eyebrows. He's also related to Playboy founder Hugh Hefner, even Pocahontas, and Vlad the Impaler. Vlad the Impaler. Now that is the bloodsucker. That is Count Dracula. Vlad the Impaler was from Transylvania, and the stories of Count Dracula came from Vlad the Impaler. And there's a movie about it, uh, Dracula the Untold Story, basically detailing how one person or one small army was able to stop all the Muslim hordes from entering Europe and taking over all of Europe. And all the royal families are related to Count Dracula. Yes, Vlad the Impaler. Dracula, the untold story. You should watch it for the uh, uh, historical purposes. Now, the most important thing is not where Trump comes from or what Trump says. It's what he does. Now, the peace process in the past uh, has, has released terrorists as part of the demands of the peace process. Obama demanded that Israel release terrorists with blood on their hands. And Benjamin Netanyahu, the prime minister of Israel, criminally let go uh, these terrorists with blood on their hands, maybe not these pictured here. Uh, however, uh, the, the, he had support from the Knesset, the Israeli uh, 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 legislative body. So they're all complicit in this uh, uh, criminal act of letting terrorists out of jail as part of a peace process. And, you know, everybody knew the peace process wasn't going forward. The whole purpose was to release the terrorists. And Donald Trump thinks he can make a deal with Israel. And that's what worries me. And I hope that uh, he's not going to uh, do anything to compromise Israel or make any crazy demands such as releasing terrorists or making Israel less secure as part of a peace deal. Uh, let's see what Trump said about Israel. And let us all pray that Trump will keep his word about Israel, that he will support Israel, and that he will not try to force a deal upon Israel. And he's also said more that he would stand by Israel and that he would uh, be a lifelong friend of Israel. And so, Donald Trump, we're going to uh, take you at that word and we're going to dismiss everything else. And we're going to be watching very carefully what you do. Do not appoint Mitt Romney because your word will mean nothing, absolutely nothing all over the world because Mitt Romney already said that your word means nothing. And so if that's what you want for your legacy and uh, for your administration, 
promises are as worthless as a degree from Trump University. If that's what you want, then pick Mitt Romney, and you're going to lose a lot of support, a lot of faith uh, that people have, and um, you will just disappoint so many by choosing Mitt Romney. It's it's like you can't fix it. Once you choose Mitt Romney, you can't fix it. He's going to go around, no matter what he says, uh, all over the world, and he's not going to represent you. He's going to represent the, the elite. And, uh, and no matter what he says or what you tell him to say, he will always be able to say, look, I told you all his promises are as worthless as a degree from Trump University. If you choose Mitt Romney, we will have a great understanding that you are not your own man, that you are scripted, and that at very, very least, you lack good judgment. Please share this video. Make it viral so that it will get to Trump before he makes a disastrous mistake that will stain his administration forever. And that is having Mitt Romney anywhere near his cabinet. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.